Welcome back to another vegan fitness full day of eating. Today we look back over my most successful cut ever. I've just finished it, got the photos. We'll check out my amazing photo shoot. We'll talk about how my nutrition has changed now that I'm back on a lean gaining cycle and we get to the gym for a quick core workout. Having finally finished my cut now after months, I get to eat all the food. Towards the end of that cut, I was so low energy. I wasn't making content. I was just dragging myself to the gym, crawling back. No inspiration, no joy. But now I'm eating all the carbs and I'm just so inspired and just, I just want to really crack on in life. So let's make a delicious breakfast. We're, to a degree, I'm, I'm needing to be careful not to overeat calories because my um, hunger has just gone absolutely crazy because one, I was in such a deficit for so long, but two, I'm training about 10 times harder than I was and like for twice as long as well. So simple porridge, you know, oats fill you up nice. I'm gonna have berries and things, but th now we get to put some fun things with it. So people were saying to me, oh, now you've finished your cup, what mad crazy stuff have you been eating, like stuffing yourself with pizza and whatnot? Nah, just been eating my whole plant foods, mate. <laughs> Once you keep to whole plant foods, you, you've cracked it. You don't want to eat that junk and there's no need to get out of shape ever again. So that's exciting. Anyway, dates going in. And so that there's a sweetness throughout the porridge, I'm gonna chop them. Again, dates rather than sugar because fiber, more filling, more healthy. In with the oats. In here, I've got ground flax and equal parts ground chia meal. Um, that's going inside the porridge this time because I want to put some fancy things on top and I don't need this spoiling the photo. Get in there, you ugly, ugly boy. <laughs> that's in there, obviously, for the Omega-3. I'm going to use in two tablespoons. It's quite fatty. Uh, keeping the fats low as a way to not, again, overdo calories too much. Viva Life Perform Protein Powder, best on the market. If you want to give it a try, link below. If you use my link, it does help support our work on this channel, so thanks in advance if you decide to do that. I also love Vivo Life's creatine. It's creatine monohydrate, which is the best type of creatine, although it's actually the cheapest, believe it or not. But this particular one is a micronized version, which means that the molecules are smaller, it's more absorbable, and it actually works for me, whereas standard monohydrate, I don't think actually does. So that's interesting. Now we're gonna go in with some wheat. <coughs> God, I got taken over by the devil, sorry. Now we're gonna go in with some uh, slightly weird things. I've got potassium salt. I'm not gonna use a lot because it'll make it taste me, but a little bit's fine. And number one, we should keep sodium low. It's one of the worst things for health is too much table salt or just sodium in general. And but also the, the balance of sodium and potassium is important. We used to eat 11,500 milligrams of potassium as uh, cave dwellers. So that's what I aim for over the course of a day between my food and added. Amla powder, A-M-L-A, -A, is powdered Indian gooseberry, most antioxidant rich food in the world. That goes in. And uh, now I'm just gonna give these Dry ingredients to stir through. It just helps. I forgot my dulse. Dulse flakes, type of uh, seaweed. Again, <laughs> sounds weird, but a teaspoon in this, you're not gonna taste it. I like to have my seaweed of a morning. I basically get all my supplements in in the morning. I've had my vitamin supplements already today. And then things like seaweed, I consider that almost like an iodine supplement. Um, you know, that's why it's in there for the iodine. You won't taste it in a big sweet porridge like that, or, a, you know, I'll put it into a smoothie as well with similar ingredients. Plant milk, soy has got the most protein, so that's the one I use. There we go, just get rid of any lumps. So we cook that through, make it nice and creamy, and then we've got some sexy toppings. So I've got this bio and me gut loving granola. It's nearly all whole foods, there's no added sugar. There is a little bit of oil in here. It's extra virgin and there's not a whole lot. Optimally, we'd use complete whole foods. Just nice to have something a little bit different occasionally for a bit of a different flavor. So I'm gonna just put a few grams of this, like sumi. And uh, we're also gonna have some chocolate. Hench herbivore, eating chocolate. I know, crazy, right? This Montezuma's 100% cocoa, absolute black uh, chocolate. Vegan, of course. 
has no sugar. There is saturated fat in here. However, it's not the long and very long chain triglycerides associated with heart disease. And actually it's shown that a little bit of this kind of chocolate, rich in polyphenols, it's got lovely magnesium, other minerals. 17 grams of fiber per 100 grams. I mean, I'm only gonna be doing 15 grams, so it's not gonna be a whole load. So even though it is healthier, don't go mental on it, but a little bit goes a long way and you will get some lovely nutrition from it. And it'll be all nice and melty in the top of my porridge. I just got up to go and Gemma pointed out, I don't even put my blinking berries in here. Ooh. Hello? What sort of vegan am I? So um, I was using strawberries all throughout my cup because they're only six carbs per um, 100 grams. Blueberries, more like 15. Sorry, 9.1. I don't know where I got 15 from. Anyway, these are like twice as calorific. So it's nice that I'm getting to eat them again. Stuff's got freeze dried strawberries. It's really sweet, although it's got no sugar. It's a lovely pink color. Oh, a bit too much. <laughs> I think I'm dieting again. And the naughty bit. It's not really naughty. It's actually helpful stuff. Let's give this little bad boy a try. Got some of that chocolate, got some of that strawberry, some of them bloobs. <laughs> oh God, damn. It's dessert, but I'm having it for breakfast and it's full of the most amazing things that will make me live longer and happier and healthier, bigger and leaner and stronger. And why the hell isn't everyone doing it? Stupid or. Okay, so as I said, I finished my diet a couple of weeks ago. It was the most arduous thing I've ever done in my life. Just so low calorie towards the end, no energy, no motivation. It was just horrible. I don't recommend anyone does it. I just did it because it's my business, it's promoting veganism, you know. My body is my business card and you know, I'm showing that you can build muscle, have an awesome physique without hurting animals. So it's very important to me. If it's not that important to you, I don't suggest you try to get down to such a low level of body fat. It's just not worth it. Anyways, leading up to peak day, I water loaded for a few days and I cut water out for 24 hours. Also I ramped up my vitamin C intake. Um, and this has the effect of flushing water out of your system, which is a dangerous thing in all of itself. I don't recommend doing that either. But it makes your skin look a lot thinner. It just makes your muscles stand out so much better. You know, when you're low body fat, like single, low single digit body fat, getting that water out really just makes you look exponentially better. So it was worth it for me. Although it's dangerous, I felt hot, I felt irritable, I was dehydrated. Uh, again, don't recommend it, but it was for a purpose. Um, carb loaded as well. Uh, I under, I went under. I could have gone in a lot higher. So I, for the photos for the day, I was a lot flatter. My muscles looked smaller than they needed to. But this time around, I wanted to err on the side of underdoing it instead of overdoing it and look, not looking as cut. I went for a more aesthetic look this time. And going forwards... You know, I'm normally in such a rush to get kind of big and strong. I'm really comfortable with my mass now. I mean, I'd like to be a bit bigger, but I'm happy. I like being leaner. I think people prefer aesthetics over mass. And I'm just going forwards. I'm going to be more conservative. Normally, you know, I'm training. Maybe I didn't get any stronger this week. So I just throw more and more calories at it. And now I'm going to err on the side of under under doing it like put the calories up just 100 calories instead of 250 500 like i've done in the past just keep pretty lean slowly fill my muscles out and just have a much better look so on the day i actually did three photo shoots so bear in mind i was dehydrated i was exhausted after months of dieting did three photo shoots did one at home just with me and Gemma. I took a lot of um Thumbnail photos, you know, stuff where I can cut myself out to put myself on images to promote videos, um, marketing photos with products, stuff like that as well. These came out really good. Uh, I'm not showing these today. I mean, you'll see them in my uh, stuff that I put online as I go forwards. But what you'll see in here is 
footage from the gym. Phoenix Gym kindly let me pose in the gym. That's amazing gym in uh, Norwich, best best in the city. Voted best gym six years running independently, if you can believe that. Um, and I also did a photo shoot at my friend's home and now they've rescued loads of lovely animals. Um, and so I'm just so happy with these images. My photographer, Claire O'Hara, claireoharaphotography.com. She's amazing. She really pulled out all the stops to make it work on the day. And I couldn't be happy with the images. What do you guys think of all these uh, images? Comment below. You shouldn't be looking at my <laughs> <laughs> We're making tofu barbecue f***ers. Hey baby, I gotta get to the gym a bit later. I need something that'll really fuel me up. What do you got for me, baby? Crispy barbecue shredded tofu. Oh god damn. I have that shiz on a bit of chips and whatnot. Yeah, okay. So first we better bloom and press some tofu, hadn't we? Oh, and is there a sauce or something going on it? Yeah, a garlic, garlic aioli. aioli sauce. Oh, it's garlic and dill, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, can't wait. I've had this once before already. It was the most delicious thing. Love a bit of um, dill. Not something we have very often, is no. it, like dills? Press the tofu. Put that aside for a minute. Now let's chop up some potatoes. Oh, yeah. Chop them, shizzers. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, that's 400 Fahrenheit. Now I'm making a spice rub. Rub a dub dub, thanks for the grub. So I'm going to go in with onion powder, garlic powder, or granules, potassium salt, regular salt, black pepper, and rosemary powder. Why don't you tell everyone why we're having rosemary powder now on our potatoes? Uh, yeah. yeah, so a new study came out showing that if 0.3% of your uh, chips that you're, you know, baking are uh, rosemary powder, it lowers the acrylamide production by 96%. Acrylamide is a potential carcinogen. Half of studies show uh, potentially that it, it kicks off cancer growth. So. Hmm. You know, it's not proven, but while it's not proven, why don't we just mitigate the risk, you know? <laughs> Time to grate the tofu. <laughs> Such a weird thing to do. Yeah. Tofu grating. Okay, so for the marinade, we're going to go in with a teaspoon per 200 gram serving of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of smoked paprika, quarter teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of cumin powder, Quarter teaspoon of potassium salt. Optional. A regular salt to taste. Chili to taste. Half a teaspoon of arrowroot. This will make it really crispy. And a teaspoon of maple syrup. In retrospect, I think I just want to add a little water just to help loosen the mixture a little bit. I'm going to add the marinade. Give it a good old mix. So you want to put your mixture on a some kind of baking tray lined with parchment paper. Okay. And spread it out really evenly and thinly. So now we're going to add the rub to the chips. Rub it up, dub. Thanks for the grub. Don't say that already. I can't remember. Yes, I don't. So in the air fryer, we're going to cook them at 180 because you get less acrylamides that way. 40 minutes. In the oven, I'd say maybe 45. While that's cooking, we'll chop up the salad. So for the eo... 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 <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what it's called. Don't put this bit. <laughs> He's putting it. For the garlic aioli, we're going to start with some soya yogurt, sugar free. 200 grams, oh, 220 grams. <laughs> A garlic clove, little pinch of black pepper, teaspoon of garlic powder, little potassium salt. Or normal salt. <laughs> oh, and or some, yeah, normal salt. And then this magical, delicious herb called dill. I'm just going to take the stalks off and put like a couple of tablespoons worth. Bake for 25 minutes, flipping halfway. Oh, 
This is one of my very favorite meals right now. I'm so pumped for this. Mm. This is so flavorful, so full of textures of the crispiness and the fluffiness inside the potato and the little, you know, little crunch of the juicy salady bits. Salady bits. Little pop of sweetness from the sweet corn. This is such an all round amazing dish. And of course, <laughs> my mouth's watering. You can never go wrong with topping things off with a little bit of sriracha as well. Guys, try this one out. I'll guarantee it's an absolute banger. For dinner, I fancy a creamy pasta today. So we're gonna make it up as we go along. I'm gonna make a kind of creamy, cheesy white sauce. We're gonna make some vegan bacon and we're gonna have a roasted med veg with it. I think it's gonna be super delicious. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees centigrade. That's 400 Fahrenheit. So we'll do the veggies first. We're obviously just gonna roast that in the oven. So I've got some cherry tomatoes there. We'll go in with some mushies. Onion, a couple of different peppers, and some courgette. We're roasting the oven for 30 minutes, flipping halfway. Okay, so for the vegan bacon, we're gonna make it with tempeh. I do use one brand of vegan bacon, which is really lean, called This Isn't Bacon. The only thing is it is extremely salty. Mind you, come to think of it, this is gonna be pretty blinking salty with the soy. Anyway, here's a way to make your own <laughs> vegan bacon, if you don't mind all the salt. Uh, I'm gonna make this into kind of crumb, so I'll just chop it quite thin for now. If you've not met tempeh before, it's basically soybeans fermented with uh, mycelium, which is the root of mushrooms, just kind of bind it together. So it's a pretty much, um, there's two whole foods that are fermented, so very healthful. So bear in mind, I am making two servings here. I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of the soy or tamari. With a smoke flavor, paprika. What do you reckon, a heap teaspoon, Gem, for two servings? Right? Yeah. Get them flavors going. Garlic powder, about a teaspoon. And just to take the edge off so it's not bitter, we'll just go with a teaspoon of maple syrup. Okay, so we'll crumble this in. Give it a good old mix. We're gonna bung ours in the air fryer at 200 degrees centigrade for about 20 minutes. No, 15 we said, didn't we? 15 minutes, uh, more like 20 minutes if you're in a conventional oven. Now for the sauce. To make it really protein rich, we're going in with silken tofu. That's ridiculously Proteiness. Is that a word, proteiness? It is now. To make it cheesy, we're going with two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. Historically, I'd probably go really heavy with this, but there is science to show that we should limit it. No more than one or two tablespoons a day, really. It produces uric acid in the body, which is not healthy. So it is a healthy ingredient, but the dose makes a poison, as they say. That's got loads of B vitamins and zinc, so it's got some good things to add. And we put in some cashews for some healthy fats as well. A little fatty element helps, uh, obviously a, a cheesy, creamy type sauce. Have a teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of mustard, and a little salt to taste. I'm giving it a little whisk up. In retrospect, I just gave this a try and it was sort of mustardy and not very cheesy. I've realized though, there's probably twice as much sauce than I need. So I added in two more tablespoons of nooch. Uh, I'll use half the serving and that will make it super delicious. Pasta on to cook. I've got this spelt one to try. Uh, spelt is an ancient type of uh, wheat. More different types of whole plant foods we eat. They're better for the gut microbiome, so better for our health potential. So I went in, as I say, with half of the sauce. So I've got the silken tofu in there. I've also went in with half the 
tempeh bacon because there's still going to be a metric ton of uh, vegan bacon there. So we'll get a little bit of all the things. My mouth's watering so much. Wow. <laughs> so creamy and smoky, of course, when you caramelise vegetables, they take on otherworldly sort of sugary flavours. Did add in some torn basil as well, which is added, and some calamar olives. Like, they are very salty, so I've only added like a three or four. Um, but a little goes a long way, and it really adds to the flavour. I'm absolutely drooling. I'm going to have to finish this video early and crack on. Guys, you saw that I've got in the best shape of my life at age 49. I don't know about many things, but nutrition and working out. I'm your man. We're looking for three new clients. We need to take on some clients, basically, because we're moving house next week, and we need to get some blinking money in, because we weren't making uh, much content, and consequently, we've not got any clients. So if you've been waiting to pull the trigger on that, Please hire me and Gemma. We will make your dreams come true if you just listen to what we say, apply it. It's a real state of the art uh, app that we use. Really bespoke. It's not cookie cutter nonsense. It'll be a workout plan, nutrition plan, aimed at you as an individual. Constant back and forth. Make sure that it's working for you so you get the results you deserve. If you're keen to actually make this the year that you finally get in the best shape of your life, best health, etc please get in touch because this is what I live for. Uh, apart from that, so link below for that. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.